Welcome to Team Act. My name is Michael Gurney, and today we're going to review how to obtain patient diagnostic photos. Personally, I think this is a very, very important part of how we do our dentistry. Uh, there's a lot of information we gather from, from the proper and, you know, ideal photos. Uh, it also helps, as you've heard us discuss in other videos, of how to present information in the form of a, a digital smile design. If you do these photos correctly, in the right orientation, the right magnification, really simplifies that process down the road when you're trying to present it to a patient. It's more than just taking a quick photo just because you're going to take a photo. If we can help you today learn better the right position, the right orientation, uh, the right depth of field to really improve your outcome of your photos, it will make your life easier when you use them to help uh, explain things to your patient. In order to accomplish the proper full face extra oral photos, you need to set your camera to, in the manual mode, f-stop 10 to 14, ISO 200. Uh, it, it really depends on your f-stop, the distance you are from the patient. If you're closer to the patient, your f-stop will be more on the 14 range. If you're a little further away from your patient, your f-stop will more likely be in the 10 range. When taking these photos, the extra oral mouth close-up photos, you need to set your camera to an f-stop of 22 to 25, an ISO of 200, and a magnification of 1 to 3. Remember, as you take these, it's essential that you line the patient up in the same orientation and plane as you would for the full face photos. Also, keeping your magnification the same, you'll have to lean in and out, focusing in on the lateral teeth. Uh, those are some key pointers that will help make this a successful process for you. 